Hello, today's devotional can be fun. The, the topical index under chastity and chase in reference to Jacob chapter 2 verse 17. Feelings of Nephites' wives and children are tender and chaste. Okay. We can love people. We can have compassion for them. We can be kind to them. But we need to remember that all things have their place and that certain things should not be partaken of unless they are in the bonds of marriage. Marriage is very sacred. It's two covenants making, or it's two people making covenants with each other of loyalty, fidelity, compassion, love, caring. Just many wonderful covenants. And then the two people make covenants with God that they might be able to turn to Him and keep Him in their marriage and turn to Him when things get rough or even turn to Him in the times of good. Some people keep those marriage covenants and some don't. And some don't even get to make them because life doesn't give them that opportunity. And so for those who don't get the opportunity to make marital covenants at whatever stage in their life, they need to be tender and chaste in all that they do. Because they will have probably made other covenants with God to live a good life and to behave oneself and to not carry on as if Death were coming tomorrow and they could repent on their deathbed. To live well and to do good includes harnessing your passions and saving them for the right moment. And that right moment is marriage. I mean, moments of passion are just that, moments. And once they're gone, they're gone, and you can't take it back. And you can't go back and enjoy it again, so you need to save those passions for when you can properly enjoy them and go back and enjoy them. <clears throat> Life is too short to waste. Precious feelings of tenderness and chastity and moments of passion and lust. Those feelings can be saved for the appropriate moment so that they can be properly enjoyed. We are children and we all have the opportunity, we will all have the opportunity at one point in this life or the next to be spouses. And all moments appropriate to spouses should stay within the whole designation of spouses. It may not be easy waiting to enjoy those moments, but it will be worth it. Those moments of passion that spouses have help them come together in ways that unmarried people couldn't. Unmarried people, bless their souls, think that intimate moments will unite them and help them to become closer. They, it really won't. It's just a moment of lust that may result in some very serious consequences. Having feelings towards the law of chastity is not a bad thing. Having feelings of wanting to keep the law of chastity is not a bad thing. And we shouldn't be ashamed in doing so. We should feel unafraid of defending that law. Because life is too short to break it and go through the very long repentance process it is to repent. It's such a delicate subject. And that's why we need to treat it delicately. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.